discard lock, uh, which is a kind of a pretty fun deck, even though it's probably insanely annoying to play against. Um, but I guess there's some fun in that as well. Uh, so let's have a look. I have been making a uh, warlock deck to try and do some sort of uh, demon dragon hybrid uh, deck. It's not very good though, <laughs> but um, I haven't tested it out that much and I've been making some changes to it. Uh, so I might do a video on that at some point. Um, you can see my rank dropped because I was playing it and just was getting destroyed. But to be fair, I think I played like four games and three of them were against Mage. Uh, so take from that what you will. Um, it's really weird at the minute actually. I, I played a fair amount over the um, kind of weekend. And... Uh, fair amount over the weekend. By the way, this could get destroyed against Warrior. Um, but uh, I can't remember playing against a Shaman the entire time. It's really weird. Uh, what about the villager first? Um, even though, because I mean, a Shaman got nerfed a little bit like Aggro Shaman did. But, um, the, uh, mid-range Shaman is still apparently, like, the top deck to, to play, and yeah, I haven't seen him really do it, maybe people are just kind of fed up with it, I guess, it could be a thing, couldn't it? Um, I only got many discard, god, yeah, if I... this deck's quite good fun if you don't have, or if you're quite new to the game and don't have a, uh, a large amount of um, uh, like um, uh, legendaries and things like that because it's relatively kind of low cost Just like, well, I think I'll just like. Do I trade? I think I'm just gonna go face. Just be like solid. Face is the place. Just small with this guy down. some aggressive uh, life tapping. Oh, okay. So that's probably oh no, if I do that I can't I can't do card anyway. So I should probably use a power overwhelming. These would probably get destroyed anyway. But the 
question is, do I attack into his uh, ghoul or do I attack his face? Um, do five damage to face. Uh, I can do effectively do ten damage right now, which will take him down to five, which means I can do God next turn and win the game. Of course he will. armor up so it's irrelevant but I still have a doom card and a, a silver white golem okay yeah so he's got quite a lot of armor now this is the problem with uh, oh wow okay ah so discard a doom card but I'm gonna have to discard a doom card aren't I uh... okay so sorry let's go for it damn it damn it so if I would have been in a good place if it had done the silver column and the dark shy librarian but I'm in a bad place now, uh, which is a shame, <sighs> and a taunt as well. Okay, all right, all right. so <laughs> which is like incredibly low. I think we're definitely going to lose this, but um, uh, I think Warrior is a terrible matchup against this, yeah, especially like that, because they can just armor up and uh, you know, usually have a good taunt or two, so I think he knows that he's in a good position now, so. So it doesn't really matter but at least we got it fairly close eh? uh, at least we got it fairly close I'm just uh wondering what probably the best thing to match up against this is. I guess, uh, I can't remember what I played, um, when I, I guess something without a lot of AoE, which, a uh, druid might be okay, yeah, we'll see, we'll see, I guess it all depends, doesn't it, really, um, okay, so this could be quite good, if we go like that, and like that, and then that comes on, yeah, we'll do that. I like Malkasar's Imp as a card. I think it's very good. Um, it before like discard was like a, a, a small mechanic, but it wasn't really like any good. Um, but now it, uh, but now it's pretty good. The annoyance will be if he just kills that straight away, which he. Yeah, I guess he, he could use the coin and do something. I think it would be difficult, put it that way. Oh, he could use it. Is he seriously going to use Innovate to kill it? Really? Or not? Is he just going to dump something? No, he's just literally going to dump something. Okay. Interesting. Uh, okay, so we've kind of got a one in. Uh, we've got a 33% chance that we will get the uh, card we want. It's a shame. Shy Councilman's good card. Um, it's not the end of the world. I, don't, I would have preferred Power Overwhelming if it was going to be one of the non silverware golem cards. This guy obviously now realizes what deck I'm playing, uh, so we'll see what he does. It's interesting. 
choice to um, chuck out the uh, uh, get things chosen straight away. So yeah, I'd like to life tap, I think, and then do this guy. There's no point attacking him to get this chosen, is there? If he wants to, he can kill my um, Malkazar's imp here. Um, I would mind some more kind of cards lower down with the discard uh, stuff that's going on. I think when I played this deck, I like won every game, but I think I came up against uh, when I played it last time. Yeah, okay, I thought you'd do that. Interesting. I think I've got a trade here, like that's a, a no brainer. Um, now we have four. I think we go peddler. So I guess another power overwhelming would be useful. Uh, and then I think I'll chuck down. I mean, if I chuck down the dire wolf, um, it just dies, right? He, he just attacks into it. But I'm then left with those two. And do I want to save the dire wolf for later on? And instead, I will do that. Conservative here. Um, I mean, we had a good start last time against that warrior. It just we got wrecked by the uh, the calls, which I, I expected one for sure. But uh, I think to get two so early on was unfortunate, shall we say? Uh, okay, so what we're we going to chuck down? We're going to chuck down. I think him and then Malgazar's in. Chuck down him, Tiny Knight of Evil. I think we'll trade here to protect these guys. Uh, then next turn we can Doom Guard. Um, if he doesn't kill everything on the board, we Doom Guard. Okay, that's not really scary at all, to be honest. Awesome. So we've got the column as well. Okay. So here we just go face, I think. I could have power overwhelmed something, but not right now. So I mean, he, he can kill my tiny knight of evil. Got my golem. I'm not going to cry about that. I've got the. I was going to say I had lethal on board with uh, the power overwhelming, but do I still have the lethal? No, I probably don't have it on board, but. Another Dire Wolf Alpha. She had lethal there, didn't I? <laughs> Whoopsie. I think our steel will have it, so we'll see. A double power overwhelming. I should pay attention more. Um, I forgot I had two of these because I discarded one. I wasn't really looking. Okay, what's he playing? One minion on the board, basically. I haven't got one minion on the board, though. It's unfortunate. Uh, I think we pop this guy. 
upside down. Let's hope he doesn't have swipe again, shall we? As I said, I only need one minion on the board and I've got lethal. he has to trade. Ah, okay, pretty sure. Ooh, I got, have I got lethal now? So that, uh, yeah, I have, okay, fine. Um, so just so we don't accidentally discard these. I mean, I might as well just play that, just in case. I should have had lethal two turns before, but never mind. So I think people must hate playing against this deck. Um, as most people just hate playing against aggro type decks. But at least the one thing I will say is with this deck is it requires a little bit more thought um, than just chuck everything down and, and smork. Um, because you can't have, and it also is risky, so um, it's a lot more down to like luck than uh, kind of like just having low cost minions and chucking them down, if that makes sense, which kind of evens things out a little bit, because if you do get unlucky, then uh, you are in trouble. Oh, no, another druid as well, okay. I've played against druids for ages, to be fair. I think druids are fairly good matchup. They do have good removal and swipe and stuff like that but it's fairly high cost so we'll chuck out that young man uh, okay good um, now I guess I have a choice next turn I can dark shy library Sergeant. Uh, that's not ideal, but in gang boss is actually pretty good. Oh, next turn I can dark Bella and abusive sergeant. And of course he now knows exactly what my deck is. Interesting that everybody keeps getting that and not the imp. I mean, obviously he, could, he had no choice. It's the only thing he could do there, but... Uh, okay, so I think the Bella flame imp unless we get something interesting on this. We do get something interesting. Uh, do I save that or do I double down? Uh, I think I'd, I'll save it for now. I love having like a um, imp deck. Uh, imps are generally very annoying in games uh, and that suits well with the uh, aesthetic shall we say, or the theme of this deck. Um, my preference is, is decks which have a theme, which sounds really dumb, like you're playing a card game. And like, but, so for example, like dragon decks, cool, did he just swipe then? That seemed like a bizarre waste of time. So we can chuck out this guy. Uh, chuck out this guy. Check out this guy in preparation for next turns. Uh, do God. If he swipes again, it's pretty horrible, but at least we'll know all his swipes are gone. Just make me wonder. 
that sometimes like how far you can actually get with a deck like this just because a lot of the time people just don't see it coming so so we're going to draw what uh, a lot of cards this is when he starts to go oh I need to probably do something now because <laughs> worried as to what this guy's got left because I've got lethal on board now with the power overwhelming haven't I um, so he's going to get rid of the uh, doom guard please put another doom guard down and big game hunter uh, wow another Malkazar's in but I'll actually save that there's no point putting that down I guess um Okay, well I'd probably Darkshire and that. So, ooh. Okay, well. Yeah, I'll definitely pay Darkshire, Councilman. And let's play another Possessed Villager. He's going to kill the Darkshire Councilman because that's what everyone always does. We'll see. We don't know. So again, I have lethal on board, but um, only if everything survives. <laughs> Which, let's face it, he'd be pretty dumb if he left everything there. Or oh, that man would be dumb. To be fair, might just not have the cards. But you'd think with uh, seven cards, and um, you know, he'd be able to do something. But you don't know. I guess what deck he's got. He might have like a kind of ramp druid. So in other words, he's got a lot of late game cards in there and was hoping to buff up and just didn't get the cards he wanted. We have all been there, trust me. Um, well, but, uh, I was playing something the other day and um, it's happened to be a few times now when I've been playing like my Dragon Paladin. Really? Is that what you're doing? Okay, so I think perhaps with Direwolf and Power Overwhelming, I've got him. Uh, so what we have that put up to three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, with Power Overwhelming. Okay, well that's fine. Uh, ranks I lost. Um, I think though, no, um, like my uh, playing of Hearthstone, I've never ever felt the urge to try and get to like Legend or something like that because from what I'm, because like I generally play like five six games with the deck and just get bored. Ah, oh, Shaman. Okay, I say I've played against one for ages. It's probably where we get wrecked, isn't it? keep the golem I guess yeah we'll keep both of them I'll drop the power overwhelming I'll keep the peddler okay that's all right so turn two peddler turn three librarian which should bring in a uh, or actually probably turn one peddler with the coin I don't see there's a point in us keeping the coin for anything That's going to be useful for me. I think perhaps the Elven Archer. They were, weren't the greatest cards, but I mean, it's a one drop card, so what do you want? Well, Malkazar's in Batchy, that's what I want, but. Uh, you know. Uh, Tiny Knight of Evil. Mm, so here's a question then what do we do now? I've got more cards than I wanted. Uh, <laughs> chances of me getting those, I, I think I might just try and dump everything. I actually have like two hard, weirdly, I have two higher cost cards. The old totem 
Gollum. Um, I think it must be written into the code of uh, Hearthstone that if you put Tone Gollum in your deck and Tunnel Trog, then you automatically draw it like straight away because uh, that seems to happen a lot. I say is that the randomness if you got to choose which cards you discarded I think this deck would be massively powerful but there you go if I were him I'd literally just go face like well no I probably I don't know what he's got in his deck so I think with his deck it might be a good idea to just like mulligan for um oh dear well i think that's pretty much game over for me uh i think it might be a good idea to mulligan for malgazar's imp because it's, it's just a very important card it just makes everything else work i don't think i can win this can i no i can't there's literally nothing i can do here that's that's just too powerful a start for me to come up against. Uh, I would like he could literally have just killed me if not that next turn, the one after. Uh, I won't waste your time with uh, with that. Oh, okay, interesting. Another warlock. But I like that as a start, so we'll keep that. Was this guy, uh, what kind of uh, warlock deck is he playing? Well, that's interesting, he didn't play anything. I'll take the opportunity to do another four damage to his face. Oh, he must be like a handlock, maybe. That could definitely play into my favour. sorry that is just pure luck if there was a sorry about I would say that because that is pure luck that's a turn five victory that's ridiculous that is utterly ridiculous as that was so quick we'll play one more 
I guess that's like how powerful this deck can be. Uh, also, if you don't have anything to begin with to um, uh, counter those minions, then you're, you're in a lot of trouble. Uh, okay, cool. So we've got a turn one to turn two. I'll actually keep power overwhelming. You never know, I might need it for something. Ah, shaman. Okay. Maybe we can get our revenge. I, I doubt it. Uh, I'm actually going to pop down the. Yeah, we're going to pop down the Void Walker. It doesn't give too much away, I think, if you play the Void Walker. If I played Malkazar's Imp there, it would give away a lot. And we've got the coin, so. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Um, okay, so what can we do here? I'm thinking I might want to actually soul fire the... So I need four mana to do what I kind of want to do. I've only got three, so... I think that's actually a smart move. Because that can get out of hand, as we have seen with that... Um, Totem. And we lost the. Uh, what did we lose? I can't even remember now. This guy loves his Argent Squires, doesn't he? Uh, Shy Librarian. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Get your smelly totem columns out of my face, buddy. So it could have been a mistake to start trading like that, but those totem columns and that um, uh, fire tongue to flame tongue totem, they can just wreck you. Okay. That's probably like the right move to be fair. Oh, okay, we're playing the imp. Oh, no, we, we won't play the imp game boss. Faceless and uh, yeah, or thing from below to be fair, and uh, we get wrecked. That seems like a risky one. I would have left the door up in all honesty. Uh, we might as well bet luck. Ooh, shall we go for the soul fire or the power overwhelming? Basically does the same thing, doesn't it? Just means we have to have a minion and we don't discard a card. Yeah, I think that was a mistake to evolve there. I mean, well, firstly, he didn't get that good card, did he? But, um, you know, that one, but that five, I would have had to have traded like three things into it. I guess I would have picked up the um, Soulfire and just like smashed it, so. But effectively, it's still got the same health and the seven attack. Wow. Okay. <laughs> this guy's desperate for cards, isn't he? Stand by your knees. He needs them cards. What's he gonna do? Is he gonna go face? He left it. If I got lethal, that's eight. Nine, ten. Yeah, I've got lethal. Never leave things on the board, buddy. Well played. Wow, 
on ten ten. Wolf for the win. Okay, actually, I'm starting to really enjoy that deck, even though it does feel a bit dirty to play it. It's a bit aggro -y for my liking, but um, it's got just enough kind of um, random luck, I think, to um, take away from that, which kind of the random luck thing kind of usually equates to fun, I guess. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. As always, it's been my pleasure. I'll catch you guys next time.